Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson. This lesson is on how to treat and reverse a fatty liver from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But these methods can be employed to actually benefit liver health in general. But before we get into looking at ways to treat and reverse a fatty liver, I wanna briefly talk about what happens to your liver in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and beyond. Now your liver is a very large organ located behind your right rib cage, and it does extend a little bit down into the right upper abdomen. And what happens in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? Now, there are many reasons why this happens. And if you want more information, please check out my lesson on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But there are several different risk factors and different pathologies as to why this happens. A lot of it is related to insulin resistance, but fat begins to accumulate in your liver. And the fat starts to slowly infiltrate into the liver. And this is what we call non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. And what can happen though is the fat that begins to accumulate in your liver can lead to inflammation of your liver. Your liver can become inflamed. And once this happens, it becomes called NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Hepatitis, itis meaning inflammation, hepat meaning liver. So it is inflammation due to a buildup of fats. And once you get inflammation in your liver, your liver can become damaged and there can be scar tissue. And this can ultimately lead to cirrhosis. Now, a lot of these steps can be reversible with certain treatments and certain lifestyle decisions and lifestyle modifications. That's what we're gonna talk about here in this lesson. So the first one I wanna talk about with regards to a fatty liver is weight loss. Weight loss is critically important. This is actually the most important treatment for reversal of a fatty liver in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The goal here is to actually lose at least 10% of your weight. But the problem is you wanna do this gradually. Gradual weight loss is key. 0.5 to one kilogram per week is the recommended amount of weight loss per week. And the reason is, is because if you lose weight too quickly, it can actually lead to fat deposition in your liver. So you can actually cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease by having too quick of a weight loss. So again, it's very gradual weight loss. That is key here. Now, another important thing to do when you have fatty liver disease is to avoid alcohol use. So every time alcohol is consumed, it can lead to some inflammation and damage to your liver. Now, you already have fats there that can cause inflammation, so you wanna to try to avoid as much damage to your liver as possible. So you want to try to abstain completely here. So again, weight loss, lose at least 10% of your weight, usually seven to 10%, even 5% can show benefits. And you wanna have gradual weight loss to avoid actually worsening your fatty liver. And then avoiding alcohol use, abstaining completely would be best here. Now some interesting evidence has been shown to suggest that coffee consumption can actually treat, reverse, and even prevent non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And we see here that the best seems to be drinking three cups of coffee per day. And something else that has been shown to help with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and liver inflammation more specifically here is vitamin E supplementation. So again, it's more specific to liver inflammation. So it's not necessarily used if there's no sign of inflammation yet, but if there is liver inflammation, vitamin E supplementation can be used because vitamin E is an antioxidant. And it may protect the liver from oxidative damage. And 800 units per day seems to be the recommended dose here. So again, coffee consumption, drink three cups of coffee per day, and vitamin E supplementation, especially if there's signs of liver inflammation. So increased liver enzymes, those types of findings. Exercise is also very important for treating and reversing a fatty liver, particularly aerobic exercises, so running and swimming and even resistance training, so weightlifting. So these can go along with the weight loss as well. So, so these types of exercises have been shown to actually improve liver health. Vitamin D may also be used to treat and reverse a fatty liver. Although there's some mixed results, it's not quite known, but it does seem that if there's vitamin D deficiency, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and the progression of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is worsened. So again, deficiency may be associated with worsening inflammation and fatty deposits within the liver. So be important to actually 
take some vitamin D supplements. So usually at least 800 international units of vitamin D per day. Now there have also been other dietary sections that have been shown to help treat and reverse a fatty liver. These include the Mediterranean diet. Now, I have an entire lesson on different types of diets with regards to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So if you want more specific information on diets in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, please check out that lesson. But one diet from that lesson that has been shown to have very, very good results in treating, reversing, and reducing inflammation in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is the Mediterranean diet. With the Mediterranean diet, there's consumption of fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, legumes, fish, a little bit of dairy, rarely red meat. And usually that's the substance of a Mediterranean diet. And there's also an important finding that low potassium levels are significantly associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease prevalence. So this is very interesting. So low potassium levels have been significantly associated with increased prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So you want to try to get potassium from certain sources like fruits and vegetables like bananas, kiwis, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. So again, there are other diets that have been shown to help treat and reverse a fatty liver, but Mediterranean diet is very, very good, has very, very good evidence for it. So again, things like fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, legumes, certain types of fish, those types of foods in the Mediterranean diet seem to help with liver health. And then low potassium levels are associated with increased prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So you want to get enough potassium in your diet. So potassium from fruits and vegetables like bananas, kiwi, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. And the last thing I want to talk about with regards to treating and reversing a fatty liver is very, very important choline consumption. So choline consumption has been actually found to be very important with regards to onset and progression of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Low choline intake is significantly associated with increased prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So the liver is the main site of choline metabolism, and choline metabolism can be altered by your genetics, by different hormonal imbalances. So it's very important to get enough choline in your diet. And you can get choline from several different sources. Many vegetables have choline. You can get it from fish like salmon, and you can get it from eggs. So again, choline, very important. Low choline intake is significantly associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, so a fatty liver in general. And you can get choline from many vegetables, fish, and eggs. So this ties in with the Mediterranean diet as well. So if you want to learn more about other interesting facts about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, please check out my lesson on that topic. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.